Hello and welcome. In this brief video, the concept of revenue, cost and profits will be covered with examples and calculations. Revenue is income earned by a business from selling its goods and services. Most of a business's income comes from goods and services sold. Revenue is sometimes referred to as sales, sales revenue or even turnover. And revenue can be calculated like this. Revenue equals price times by quantity. So the price of the product multiplied by the quantity sold. Let's have a look at a calculation. So it's important to remember that revenue equals price times by quantity. Calculate the revenue if a business sells 150 shares at £25 each. So the price of each share is £25. And there are 150 shares. If you'd like to pause the video now and work out this calculation, you can do so. And I will continue. So the answer that you should have is £3,750. So hopefully you remember to include the pound sign as well. Now business calculate costs for a variety of reasons. There's a number of reasons that they would want to know how much their costs are. Now one of the reasons is to assess whether they can make a profit. So we will look at profit a little bit later on in this video, but it's very important for them to know how much profit they're going to be able to make on a particular product. Another reason is to help make pricing decisions. So it can help them be aware of how much they need to price their goods or services at. And another reason is for forecasting and budgeting. So forecasting is looking forward and trying to predict. So they can also be aware of certain costs that might come up. So it could be like a Christmas advert. So they need to be aware of certain costs that they might have in the future and also budget accordingly for it. We're going to narrow it down now and look at two types of business costs. We are going to look at fixed costs firstly, and that's an expense that does not change with output. So whether the business's output increases or decreases, the fixed costs will remain the same. Now, fixed costs do change from time to time, such as salaries may increase or business rates may increase. However, it's not because of output. It's not because of the business producing more. Variable costs now, they do change with output. So if a business is going to produce more goods, they will need more raw materials, let's say. So the variable cost would actually change because output has increased. So if a business has more customers, then they will have to produce more of the given product. So the output would change with any costs associated with this output. And if a business's output was to reduce, then so will the variable costs. Let's take a look at some examples. Now you can pause the video if you'd like and consider some examples of fixed costs. Rent, that's a classic example of a fixed cost and that you will see quite often in textbooks. Salaries, that's also a fixed cost. It will not change with the level of output. Insurance is also going to be a fixed cost. And IT costs in regards to maintenance of um, the website, for example. So you can pause the video if you'd like and consider some examples of variable costs for a restaurant. Raw materials is definitely going to be one. So if the output were to increase, then the pizza restaurant would need to ensure that they have sufficient dough and cheese and other ingredients required to produce the pizzas. Another example of variable costs is going to be wages. If output were to increase, then they would need to ensure that the workers stay longer to produce the pizzas, to serve the pizzas, to deliver the pizzas. And another one is fuel. So it could be for the delivery vans, for example. Um, but likewise, if output were to decrease, they wouldn't need these as much. So therefore, the variable costs would decrease. OK, so that's very much tied into the level of output. So it's quite important that you remember this fixed cost plus variable cost equals total costs. 
profit is the reward for risk taking. There are different types of profits such as gross profit and net profit. You'll find the Teacher T gross profit video in the description bar. The net profit video will be released soon. So please do ensure that you have subscribed and that you click the notification bell so you're aware of when it is released. Profit also equals total revenue minus total costs. There are a number of ways that businesses can use profit. They can use it to reinvest, to expand, to reward the owners, for businesses to survive, for them to remain competitive against their rivals and also to save for the future. So this calculation is fairly straightforward. As we know, profit equals total revenue minus total costs. So if total revenue was £15,000 and total costs were £7,000, what we would need to do is take the £7,000 away. And our answer is eight thousand pounds thank you for watching for watching this video good luck with your studies until next time